like it there. Just a minute. Oh, it's the most beautiful engagement ring I've ever seen. Melville has wonderful taste. The stone's not too big, but Melville says he doesn't like anything too flashy. Oh, I know you and Melville will be very happy. Of course, Mr. Spencer's losing a good secretary. Oh, every girl has to get married sooner or later. Funny, that's what I told Mickey Mulligan in my dream last night. <laughs> Eloise, w would you mind if I try it on a minute? Sure, go right ahead. Thanks. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it? And it's a whole half a carrot. Oh, it seems ironic. All that stands between me and wedding bells is a half a carrot. Hi, Pat. Eloise. Oh, hi, Mickey. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it sure is. What is it? An engagement ring. Why wasn't I told about this? Well, Mickey, I thought everybody knew. Oh, it's the first I've heard of it. Well, the wedding's only a week off. Week off? <laughs> Strange, I'd be the last one to know about it. Why wasn't I told about the wedding? The wedding? Oh, the wedding! Didn't you get an invitation? An invitation? Don't you think it would have been a little cold-blooded of her to send me an invitation to her wedding? I don't see why. She likes you. Sure. Sure, she likes. And all the time I thought that maybe someday... We might... Oh, I had her figured all wrong, but... but good. Well, all right, so you didn't get an invitation. What is that, the end of the world? That's what's so painful. Life goes on just the same. The sun continues to shine, wind continues to blow. Children laugh and play in the parks. Taxi cabs honk at each other. Taxi cabs honk at... What are you talking about? What's that got to do with it? <laughs> That's life for you, Fred. They give you your nickel back so you can try again. Give you your nickel back? Look, Mick, you better save your nickels. We gotta buy her a wedding present, you know. Wedding present? Well, sure, you're gonna buy her a wedding present, aren't you? Haven't I given enough already, Fred? Tell me, whom is she going to marry? Whom is she going to marry? Melville Merriweather, of course. Melville <laughs> Merriweather? That's the last straw. I don't see why this should come as such a surprise, Mick. Melville and Eloise have been going together for two years. Eloise, did you say? Eloise Higglesmith. Eloise Higglesmith. Of course. Of course not. Eloise Higglesmith. I've got to dash now. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, Eloise. That's such a pretty ring. I'm so happy for you and Melville and, and me. Oh, Mickey, I'm sorry. You haven't received my wedding invitation? That's not important, Eloise. The important thing is that you and Melville are going to be married. <laughs> oh, uh, Mick. Yes? There's something that bothers me. About these taxi cabs. Never honking. mind about that, Freddie. The children are laughing and playing in the parks again. I've got to go now. See you all later. Yes, goodbye, Eloise. Goodbye. Just think, next week I won't be Eloise Higglesmith. I'll be Mrs. Melville Merriweather. Yes. She's lovely. She's engaged. She's Eloise Higgleson. Here we go again. Last week it was a baby shower present for Hazel Woodling. The week before that it was flowers for Jim Reynolds in the hospital. And now it's a wedding present for Eloise Higglesmith. If these collections keep up, I'm going to be bankrupt. Well, Mr. Brown, uh, Eloise, she's deductible. <laughs> there you are. You're very generous, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, $20. Only $10 generous. My change, if you please. Excuse me. This, this uh, $10 change. Uh, Mr. Brown, $10. Put down Mr. 10. Brown, $10. That's right. Say, Pat, what does that question mark after Mulligan's name mean? Oh, well, well Mr. Mr. Brown, uh, you see, I didn't know how much exactly I was going to contribute to uh, Miss Higglesmith's present. Oh, why don't you make up your mind? Get rid of that question mark. Well, you see, it all depends upon how much you're going to advance me against next week's salary. Put two question marks after his name. How, uh, how much money do you have there, Mulligan? $146. Gee, Mr. Brown, everybody in the building contributed. Mickey's done a wonderful job. Well, I'll finish that report for you now, Mr. Brown. Oh, don't stuff the money in your pocket. Put it in your wallet. Yes, sir, the wallet. I thought I should have put it in here before. Aren't you afraid of getting that money mixed up with your own money? Added to your money, it'll be more, won't it? Only had a dollar. You better be careful with that money. You should get it in the bank immediately. 
I'm going to deposit it the first thing in the morning, sir. Mm, well, from now until tomorrow morning, be careful. We wouldn't want anything to happen to that money, would we? I'll guard it with my life, Mr. Brown. Be alert for any eventuality. Would you have Pat mail these, please? You bet. Mulligan. Oh, that's so... <laughs> Jocko, reach. <laughs> Very funny, Freddy. Very humor. funny. Your sense of humor now. Yeah, uh, humor, all right. What's the matter? You got a pain? No, I have no pain. What are you, what are you holding your hand like that? It's a wallet there. A wallet? Yeah. Oh, don't say it so loud. There may be some pickpockets lurking around. Well, what's that got to do with it? You haven't any money in there since you got it last Well, I've got plenty of money in there now, Fred. We've got Eloise's wedding present fund. Pardon me, Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Oh. Excuse me, sir. We've got a lot of... Wait just a minute, sir. Wait just a moment, please, sir. Yes? <laughs> Uh, we know something is wrong now, don't we? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Uh, it was very clever of you, sir. Very clever to bump into me there at the drinking fountain and reach in and pick out my... <laughs> I'm, I'm awfully sorry. Please excuse me, sir. That's quite all right. I'm awfully sorry. What's the matter with you? You do things like this all the time. Well, it's a great responsibility to have all this money on a, on a person. I've got to find the right place to, 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 to hide it, that's all. I've got to put it in my back. No, somebody will get it there if I put it in this one. No, I'll to grab it there. I'll put it in my shoe. No, then I'll have to limp like this. Hiya, Pop. Hi, son. Hi, Mommy. Hurry and wash up. Dinner's about ready. Yeah, I will right away, but first I've... I've got to find a safe place for this money. What money? What money? Pop, a girl by the name of Eloise Eaglesmith is getting married at the office. We all chipped in and bought her a little wedding gift. And I've got the money right here for it. What's the matter, son? Nothing. Nothing, Pop. Nothing at all. Michael, you didn't lose the money, did you? Please, Mom. Don't, don't even say that. Don't even say it. Are you sure you had it on you when you left the studio? Sure, I, I had it on. Now, let's look at this thing objectively now. First of all, I came in. No, I... Now, first of all, when I get through work, I put the money in this pocket, then I, then I put it in this pocket. Son, what about your coat? <laughs> sure, the coat. Why didn't I think of it myself? Aren't you going to look? Well, why should I, why should I look in the coat? The money's there. I know it. It's, if it's you're just... not going to look, I'll do it myself. I can't stand the suspense. No, no, wait, I'll, I'll, I'll do it, Pop. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Mom, would you would would you come and do it for me, please? I, 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 I'm just a little. All right, Michael. And and mom, uh, if it just doesn't happen to be in the coat, just say, dinner is ready. Just like nothing happened, huh? All right, go. <laughs> Yes, son. Is dinner ready? I'm afraid so. Michael, are you sure you didn't leave it at the office? No, 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 Pop. I, I had it here with me when I came in the house. Well, maybe you lost it on the way home. No, I distinctly remember putting it someplace where no pickpocket could get at it, and now I can't even guess where it is. I I'm going to call the police. Hey, wait a minute. What does he think I am? <laughs> Now, Michael. Hello, operator. Michael, would you give me the police? You've got to pull yourself together. But, Pop, I'm worried about Getting the... excited isn't going to do you I... a bit of. What's what? this? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. That's just a, a string tied around my wallet. <laughs> my wallet. Now, you see, when the police get on the job, they don't waste any time solving the crime. Pop, believe me, I, I completely forgotten about the wallet and string. Officer, come help me track down a burnt roast. Oh. <laughs> You put it in your shoe. And not even warm. Well, I give up. I give up. Where did you put the money? In a very clever place, if I do say so myself. It's not in my wallet, not in my pockets yet. It's right here on me. I got it. I got it. Got it? You swallowed it. <laughs> oh, I didn't swallow it. You, uh, you'd think that this would be a ham sandwich, wouldn't you? Huh? 
clever, Mick. This is clever. This is clever. Thank clever. You. Thank you. I knew you'd agree with me that it was clever. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Just a minute. Aren't you going to take the ham sandwich and put it in the bank? Oh, no. no, no, no. <laughs> My Eloise's wedding present. <laughs> you, sir? Yes, uh, I think you can. I'm in here to get a wedding present for a couple of friends of mine. A wedding present? How <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> what did you have in mind? Well, that seems to be my problem. Uh, Pat thought I should get him a sterling silver tea set. And Mr. Brown thought I should get him some dishes. And Fred said, well, why don't you give him some money? And I said, well, they, they have money, and I thought I could give them something they haven't got. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, of course. Could, of course. could you suggest anything that Eloise and Melville might like? Well, yeah, Eloise uh, is very conservative, and I, I don't know, to tell the truth. I don't know Melville's taste at all. Well, you see, I always... Uh, 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 oh, quiet. <laughs> well, you see, I... Why not let me show you a few things, and then you can decide. Thank you, yes. <laughs> Good. Very nice. Gee, these are very pretty. Ah, ta -ta -ta, don't you touch. <laughs> That's a very, very valuable clock. <clears throat> yes. Hand carved in Switzerland. In, in Switzerland? Yes. See, that's... That's very... Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't touch it. it just come out. Come yes. Out. <clears throat> yeah. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that magnificent? Yes, it's a very pretty uh, paperweight. Mm -hmm. A paperweight? The doorstop? Doorstop? <laughs> I would have you know that this magnificent piece of contemporary sculpture is a collector's item. Oh. It is called Victory. Victory? I'd hate to see the loser. <laughs> this represents man's conquest over himself. Any newly married couple would feel very highly honored to have an object d'art in their home like this. It's, it's very pretty, but uh, what would they use it for? Now, let's not be plebeian. You're not going to give them something that they can use. No. Certainly not. <clears throat> You're going to give them something that, uh, that they can value and treasure all their lives. Yes. Well, uh, what, uh, what is this uh, object de pu... I mean... Uh, Ob Objet Dar. Objet Dar, yes. It's very nice. Uh, man's conquest over himself. It's just what Eloise needs. W what's the price of it? Uh, well, we're... We're practically giving it away. We've reduced it to $126. $126? Yes. Well, that's, that's what Eloise could use, all right. Man's conquest over himself. I'll take it, and, and would you gift wrap it for me, please? Certainly. Mm -hmm. Certainly. I, I have a fresh one right out uh, yeah. in the back there. This one's a little shop-worn. <clears throat> You've made a very wise choice. Thank you. I'll wrap it. <laughs> I thought it was you. You buying Pat an engagement ring? Well, not exactly, Eloise. You see, I, I, I come in to get a shot. I mean, a uh, 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 here. What's the matter? Heavens, what is that? What's what? Are they kidding? Well, uh, that's a great piece of sculpturing, if my memory serves me correctly. It's called, uh, it's called Victory. Victory? Yes. Uh, it uh, represents man's conquest over himself. It's something every person could treasure and value all their life. Not me. I wouldn't have the thing in the house. You, you wouldn't? wouldn't? Give it to my worst enemy. You, you don't like it, you mean? No, do you? 
you've got better taste than that. Huh? Well, I've got to beat it. I haven't had lunch yet. See, Mickey. Yeah. Victory. Ah, here we are. A masterpiece, if I do say so. Pardon me, sir, but could I, could I have a word with oh, you? Oh, it's just a work of art. Yes, it is, but I wondered if I could speak to you for just a moment, oh, sir. Oh, breathtaking. Breathtaking, isn't it? Yes, but, well, sir, you see, after thinking it over on, on second thought... Yes? Oh, uh, I, I don't think that Eloise would, would appreciate this, this kind of art. That is... You mean... You mean you don't want this? Now that you mention it, no. No? After I've wrapped it, you don't want it. I, I knew you'd understand. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I understand. <laughs> the customer is always right. The unwritten rule. Uh, service with a smile. Uh, uh, sir, I want to... Um, I, I wondered how much uh, was the clock there. Do you want to buy it, or are you just interested in seeing me wrap it? No, I, I'd like to buy it. That's if it's uh, the right price. One hundred and thirty dollars plus tax. <clears throat> well, I'll, I'll take it, and I'll wrap it myself. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll wrap it <clears throat> after we've completed the sale. <clears throat> now, is this cash or uh, charge? Oh, it, it's, it's cash. In there? Yes. I, I had you fooled, didn't I? You thought that there was a ham sandwich inside the bag. Uh, how much was that again? One hundred and forty-six dollars and twelve cents. Forty-six. Twelve. <clears throat> Peanut butter and jelly. Got a second? Hi there, I'm Mickey Rooney. Can I come in or is this a closed session? No, come on in, Pop. It's all right. What is this, Michael? A rummage sale? Well, you're getting warm. Say, Pop, tell me, how much do you think I could get for all this stuff if I were to pawn it? Mm, it's hard to say. Sixty, sixty-five dollars, maybe. Is that all? I was hoping to get around a hundred and forty-six dollars. A hundred and forty-six? Say, isn't that the amount of money you collected for Eloise Higglesmith's wedding present? Uh-huh. <laughs> Sixty or sixty-five, that's all. Well, maybe I could get twenty bucks extra if I pawned my wristwatch. Dear, we gave you that watch for your birthday. Oh, well, look, Mom, I've, I, I got to pawn it and got to pawn all this stuff, too, because I need as much money as I can get a hold of. Pawn that watch? I'll give you $20 for it and give it to you again on your next birthday. <laughs> hey, what's the problem, Michael? Did something happen to that money you collected? Uh, well. You sure it isn't hanging around your neck? Uh, maybe you outsmarted yourself again and sewed it up in the lining of your coat. I wish that was the way it was, Mom, but I'm afraid it's really gone this time. What I can't figure out is how I ended up with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich? But, dear, I made you a ham sandwich. I, I know, but remember we put the money into the paper bag so it wouldn't look conspicuous? Well, somehow it got switched, and I ended up with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and whoever got the other bag ended up with a money on rye. Well, the person who found your money will turn it in the minute he finds out his mistake. Turn it in? Pop, who would turn in a bag full of money today? Now, look, son, I've been on the police force a long time, and I learned one lesson. The honest people in this world outnumber the dishonest people a hundred to one. But, Pop... You've got to have faith in your fellow man. Well, I have faith in my fellow man, Pop, but after all, it was my fault, and if I made the mistake, I should be held responsible for the money and, and make it up. Well, I agree with you there, son. But you don't have to pawn everything you own, dear. Can't we help out some way? Thanks anyway, Mom, but... I'd feel better if I did this by myself. Say, Pop, there is something you can do for me. Can you tell me the name of a good pawn shop? 
Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I can. Max's pawn shop down on 3rd Avenue. I recommend him very highly. Max's, huh? Shall I tell him you sent me? Oh, he'll know you all right. I got the money from him to bail you out of the hospital when you were born. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for you. Well, I, I, I just brought in Eloise's present. You bought the present? Well, well, sure. I, I wouldn't forget a thing like Eloise's present. After all, I'm, I'm not irresponsible. What did you pay for it with? What did I pay for it with? Well, don't, don't you remember we took up a collection for the present and I was in charge of it? Oh, the money you had in the brown paper bag. The same bag Eric Swenson, the carpenter, returned to Mr. Brown about an hour ago. Eric Swenson returned? Turned the bag to Mr. Brown yes. an hour ago? And he says he wants his peanut butter and jelly sandwich back. <laughs> See, that's why I've been looking all over for you. To tell you the money's been found. Oh, well, I was only gone for just a while. Mickey, where's your wristwatch? Well, it, it's with my, uh, my godfather, Max. So that's it. So that's what? You pawned your watch to pay for the present. Not only my watch. You should see my room. The only thing left in it are the doorknobs. If you'd only waited. Freddie went down to buy the present. A sterling silver platter. Well, I, I guess I can return this and get my money back. I only hope I can make that man understand. It's beautifully wrapped. He's going to tear it to shreds. <laughs> Tell me, Mickey, what did you get? Oh, Pat. Oh, hiya, Mick. How was the uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Very funny, Freddie, very funny. Hey, wait till you see what I got. Wait till you see. Oh, Pat, I couldn't get that platter. They wanted too much money for it. But wait till you see what I got. Well, what did you get? Come yeah, on, hurry up, open it. Right, you, you close your eyes yeah. and don't open them until I tell you to. Okay. All right? Right. What have I done? I bought Melville and Eloise something that they can value and treasure for the rest of their lives. Uh, you can open up your eyes now, Mick. No, no, never mind, Fred. I, I, I know what you got there. You know what I got? Yeah. Victory? How do you know? Oh, I, I'm just psychic. That's uh, oh, there. Well, we're not giving that monstrosity to Eloise and Melville. Well, why not? You know what this represents? This represents man's conquest, conquest over, over himself. It represents a salesman's conquest over you. Oh, just put it away, will you, Fred? I'm sure glad we got Eloise another present. Huh? Well, here I thought you were art lovers. I've never been so insulted in all my life. What's the matter? You know what? My boss had the nerve to give me for a wedding present. What? This. Oh, it seems to be a trend. Oh, Eloise, I thought I heard your voice out here. Mrs. Brown and I thought we'd give you a little wedding gift. Well, thank you, Mr. Brown. Wait till I get rid of this horrible piece of junk. <laughs> Well. <laughs> you know Freddie, be quiet. Well, uh, Eloise, now that you're here, in behalf of the network, we want to give you th this little present here. And you don't have to worry, it's not one of those. <laughs> but I'm not sure there's going to be a wedding. Melville and I had a spat. Melville and you had a spat? Now, wait a minute, you can't have any spats. You Think of all the trouble we've gone to. You've just got to get married. Well, not if his mother's going to run our lives. Now, Eloise, it isn't that serious. You and Melville are too much in love to let a mother-in-law come between you. Mickey, show Eloise what we got her and Melville. Yeah, you better will. Well, imagine your mother-in-law wanting you to hang a cuckoo clock right over your fireplace. If there's anything I detest, it's cuckoo clock. <laughs> Mickey Rooney will be back in just a moment. And now a word from next week's sponsor. Oh, hi. Those are the words of wisdom from the wonderful folks who'll bring you our next show. Be with us then, won't you? Oh, incidentally, I returned the cuckoo clock, and I finally reclaimed all of my stuff from Max's pawn shop, and I got Eloise a brand new wedding present. This is it right here, this wonderful television set. And boy, does it work swell. Watch. Watch. <laughs>